Hello all, welcome to this channel CFD Baba. We are about to reach 1000 subscribers and I would like to thank you guys for all your love and support. Also be sure to check out my course Mastering OpenFoam CFD Level 1 on Udemy. You will find the link in the description below. This is the second part of the tutorial. In the first part I have shown how to set up the geometry and mesh that geometry. So you can watch the part 1 before watching this part 2. Let's start with the constant folder. Go to the polymesh folder and in this boundary folder you can find all your boundaries on which we have to apply the boundary conditions. Let's assign the correct type for each boundaries. For atmosphere we will assign the patch as the type of boundary condition. For walls we will assign the wall type boundary condition. And for default faces, we are going to apply the empty boundary condition. This tells OpenFoam that we don't want to solve any equations in the z direction, that is in the direction of default faces. Hence, we use the empty boundary condition. This converts our 3D geometry into a 2D problem by using this empty boundary condition. Now, we have to assign all the boundary conditions to these three boundary names. So one of the tricks is to copy all these names and now let's go to the zero folder to assign all the boundary conditions. Let's first assign the velocity boundary condition. I can make some space here and I will paste the names of my boundaries. But as you see we don't need to do that because in the Open form tutorial, we already have the same names. That's why I used those same names while creating the geometry. So we just need to add our third name that is the default faces. So I'll select it and I will paste it here. And I will use the type as empty. So we are going to assign empty boundary condition for default faces in all our initial boundary condition files. Next, I will assign the boundaries for pressure file. Here, we have an extra boundary named obstacle. We don't need it. So I'll just copy the default faces boundary condition from U file and replace it on top of the obstacle. Let's do the same for all the files. So we have the K and I will add the default faces. Inside new T, I will do the same thing. We don't need to change anything else. In omega, I will add the default faces and inside alpha water, I will replace the obstacle with default faces with boundary condition type empty. Save all the files. Now, our initial boundary conditions have been set up. We can run the simulation, but before that, we need to assign the correct direction of gravity. We don't need the dynamic mesh dict. You can delete it. Open the G file and you can see the direction of our gravity will be acting in the negative y direction. So I will assign value of minus 9.81 in the y direction. The next file is the transport properties. Here we define our two phases, one is water and another is air. We define the viscosity and the density for our both phases and also the value of sigma. And we are going to use the turbulence model as laminar for this case. Now we can go to the system folder and now we have to assign the water column here in our geometry so that OpenFoam can initiate the solution. To add the water column here, we are going to use the set fields dictionary. Edit it with notepad. And here you can see that we can create a box which will be assigned the default value of alpha water as one. That means the whole box will be assigned the phase as water. We can define the dimensions of this box. To create correct dimensions, go to the para view and here we can see that 
if we turn on the axis grid, we can see that the geometry has the origin in the left bottom corner. That means 0, 0, 0 is at the left bottom corner. Now, I need the height of the water column as, let's say, 15 meters. The height of our building is 10 meters and the water column will be 5 meters taller. So we can define the length of the water column in y direction as 0 to 15. In the x direction, we will have the width of our water column. So let's say I want a width of uh, 10 meters. So for x direction, I will specify the box length from 0 to 10. And in the z direction, we can check the dimensions of our geometry by going in the information tab. Here you can see the z range is from 0 to 0 0.2. So I will assign the same value of 0 to 0 0.2 in the z direction. Save this file. Now we will execute the set fields file. Go to your terminal and type in set fields. Make sure F is capital. Press enter. Now you can see that the water has been successfully assigned to the selected box dimensions. To view the assignment, we can go and switch off the axis grid. And let's reload the case. So I'll open it again. And this time I will switch off the skip zero time option. Press apply. You can see that we can't see the variables yet. Refresh the case and click on the last frame button. You can now see that we can view the variables. Click on alpha water to view the assignment of water domain in our geometry. You can see that the edges of our water are not smooth due to the triangular mesh that I'm using in our simulation. If you want the boundaries of your air and water to be smooth, then you can use the hexahedral mesh for your simulation. This is the initial boundary condition. This is the water column and now it is going to flow due to gravity over this hill and onto this building. So to launch the simulation, we can go to control dict. Here we will use the start time as 0 seconds and let's run the simulation for 10 seconds. So I will use the end time of 10 seconds. I will use delta t of 0 0.1 and I will use the right interval of 0 0.25 seconds. That means after every 2.5 seconds, the solution will get written and we will be able to view the results for that time step. Now we can launch the simulation by copying the interform command and we can paste it in our command window. Press enter. Now you can see that our simulation has started successfully. If you go to your main folder, you can see that time steps are being added. But this takes a lot of time for running. So I have one trick to reduce the time for running. So lot of memory gets consumed in printing all these things in the command prompt. So to avoid extra wastage of your computer memory, you can first clear all the time steps that have been created. So I will just delete all these folders here, which are the time step folders. Now, while using the interform command, I will use space, I will use the greater than sign and I will type log.if. That means whatever is going to get solved using the interform command will be saved in log.if file. If means interform. You can give any extension to this file. Press enter. Now you can see that nothing is getting printed on the screen. But if you go to your main folder, you can now see that the time step folders are being written and it is much faster. To view the real time solution, you can go to your log.if file. Open it with notepad.
you can now see that here everything is getting printed in the background for each and every iteration so the time reached right now is 1.8 seconds the simulation is going to run for 10 seconds but we don't need to wait till 10 seconds we can view the results that the simulation has produced till now to view the results we will reopen case.form file press on apply we will switch the variable to alpha.water and it will show you the water in our domain this is for time of 0.25 seconds you can control the time using these options of changing the frames i will press on play button and now it will show you how the solution is developing as the time moves on you can now see that new time steps have been created to load those new time steps here just click on the refresh button and again click on play button and it will show you your further time steps you can see here that some of the water is exiting from the atmosphere boundary condition and it won't return back into the domain this won't happen in real life scenario but to avoid this thing you can reduce the height of your water column just like I did and the water stays inside the domain the simulation will run for 10 seconds you can reload the new time steps by clicking on the refresh button and if you play from the start you can see the animation of how the water will behave when it flows over the hill onto the building so this is how we can simulate the modified dam break case in open foam from scratch if you have found this video helpful be sure to like the video and press the subscribe button for more such videos also don't forget to share my videos with all your friends who perform CFD simulations we will meet again in a new video with a new simulation goodbye till then